a fragmenting world, so it was very important to have the IMF and the World Bank convening, uh, not in Washington DC, but in, but in Marrakech. First time, I think, for the last 50 years, it happens uh, in Africa, so a way to hear the strong call to action by so many countries uh, in, the global, in the global south a few weeks only after the dramatic uh, earthquake. You remember that hit Morocco. I was in the Atlas Mountain in the mm -hmm. Tamgusi village. So many people under tents. So a sense really uh, of urgency uh, and hopefully action will happen in the next few months and years. When it comes to fighting climate change, there are so many organizations that are involved, you know, from the government to the multinational to a much smaller a grassroots level. You have been pushing very hard to empower national development banks when it comes to fighting climate change. Why are they such an important vehicle for this mission? So I'm the head of AFD, the French Development Agency, which is the, I would say, the World Bank of France. I mean, mm. so an international public development bank, but there are many others all around the place. We did the research, uh, 530 public financial institutions with a public mandate. It's not against private and not against the market. It's just the public component for public investments that we need, uh, yes, to unlock uh, a, greener, uh, a greener future. So a lot of things happen. A colleague from ICMA was with you just before me. You know, the, this green bond markets was created by public banks, EIB, World Bank, and now it's uh, rapidly uh, expanding, uh, providing uh, all the resources, because this is the whole financial system in the end that has to transition and turn to, mm. to climate action and SDGs. Mm. Where do you think corporates fit in the mix? Uh, about a month ago, there was a big report that some of the major asset managers were just approving fewer and fewer shareholder proposals on ESG because they're facing all sorts of pushback. And we know that politically, it is seen as negative in some quarters of the world, namely across in the United States, uh, the Republicans to push back against what they call woke capitalism or some hardline Republicans. Are we losing the edge from corporates pushing forward with uh, climate change? I don't think so. I think you could see it both ways. I mean, I, I was the chief negotiator back in 2015 when we reached this uh, Paris Agreement on climate change. And believe me, I came to see all the segments of the financial sector, and well, nobody really cared about climate at that time. And it's only eight years ago. So somehow this, this pushback we see, uh, of course, on the private side, uh, means that the debate is there, uh, which, which is good news. And this is when we need probably public action coming into the markets with the private sector so that we can find coalition between uh, GFAN's colleagues, the Global Financial Alliance for Net Zero, ISSB, IRFS uh, working on it under the guidance of Emmanuel uh, Faber, NGFS, the central banks also uh, rallying, gathering behind climate and this coalition we built called Finance in Common. Uh, all the public development banks coming into discussion to accelerate uh, the transition of the whole system. So I'm not saying we're there yet, by far, but the discussion is really ongoing and it happened quite clearly in Marrakech as well. 